All right, in this video, we're going to talk about two different types of loans um, and just kind of using those loans in terms of a formula. So first, we're going to start with student loans with this kind of ugly looking formula. So P equals capital L times I all over 1 minus the quantity 1 plus I raised to the negative N power. Now, the key at the bottom here, P is our monthly payment. So if we want to find on our student loan how much we're going to pay per month, this is our formula for us, right? So capital L is the loan amount. What are we trying to pay back? I is the monthly interest rate. That's monthly. So whatever the APR is, we're going to have to divide that by 12 in order to find I. N is the number of times you're compounding over the life of the loan. So if the loan is 10 years and you pay it monthly, that's 10 times 12. So keep that in mind as we work through. So let's look at our first example. Catherine attends a private college and after four years has accumulated $66,000 in loans. It's very easy to do. Uh, I know a lot of friends who have a lot more than that. So she has a 4% APR and she goes with a 15-year loan for payback. What are her monthly payments? All right, so let's, uh, let's, think, let's think this through on what we all need for this. So let me find my drawing tool here. Let's think about what we know. We know that the value of L is $66,000. We know that I is our interest rate as a decimal divided by 12, right? It's the monthly interest rate. And then for N, we are paying uh, 15 years, but it's monthly, so we're making 12 payments a year. So that means our value of N is 180. Okay, so now let's plug those in to our equation. So again, remember that P equals L times I over 1 minus 1 plus I raised to the negative n. That's a plus sign. So the key, the first, <laughs> the first key to this is making sure that we have uh, everything plugged into the correct space. Then we'll get in to the order of operations. So in the numerator, I have 66,000 multiplied by 0 0.04 divided by 12. In the denominator, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12 raised to the negative 180. Now, as we're simplifying, think of this as two separate pieces. We have the numerator, we have the denominator. When I simplify the numerator, 0 0.04 divided by 12, multiplied by 66,000, that comes out real, real nice, 220. The denominator, on the other hand, is a little bit uglier. So here's the thing. We're going to make sure that we do this, oh, what happened? That we do this with step-by-step -step procedure. So first things first, we do inside. 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12 gives us, oops, that's a parenthesis, um, 1.00333, and it keeps going. If possible, leave this in your calculator. So you have the 1.03333 in your calculator. Now take that and raise it to the 180 power. So now I have 220 over 1 minus... 0.54935. Da, da, da. And keep that in your calculator. Hopefully your calculator has the memory piece where you have the answer. If there's a button that it says like ANS, meaning if you use that, it's going to use the most previous answer in your calculator. So now when I take one minus that answer, I get 220 over 0 0.4506, and that's going to continue on forever. Then I take 220 divided by that and I get 488.19. So $488.19. Now, if you're lucky, you have a calculator, you can just throw that formula in at one time. It'll spit out the answer, but not all calculators do that. And let me back up. If you're throwing this all in your calculator at one time, make sure you put brackets around your numerator, put brackets around your full denominator, and then you have the division bar in the middle. That'll make sure that you're keeping the order of operations appropriately. Okay, back to Catherine. So Catherine's um, monthly payments are $488.19. So how much will Catherine pay back over the life of this loan? So think of this. If she's paying $488.19 per month, that means she's doing 12 months a year. And we know from that beginning problem, we're doing 15 years in this loan. If I multiply those pieces together, I get $87,874.20. And now I know what you're thinking. You're like, but she only borrowed $66,000. Yeah, I know. So this right here is payback. 
That means if I take 87, 874 and 20 cents and I subtract the $66,000 she borrowed, that means the $21,870 and 20 cents, the difference between her payback and what she borrowed is interest. So if you're low, you know, borrowing this from a bank, you're basically paying the bank almost 22 grand for that loan. This is why uh, people like lending you money if you're going to make your payments because they make so much in their, uh, their the interest rates. Okay, I said we were going to do two, um, two loans. We're going to do just this loan. I'm going to make a separate video for that other loan. So this is just playing with student loans.